So this video is for all the people who are still out there driving their cars manually. Because why? You don't need to anymore. Let me show you the latest version of Tesla full self-driving. So all you do when your car is parked is just push this blue button and your car will take you wherever you ask it to. So right now I'm parked, the car is going to reverse. It's going to pull out of the parking spot. It's doing that very carefully. It looks like there's some SUV stopped in the road here. So it's smart enough to go around that car. Oh, it looks like the the guy maybe had to uh, had to get something from their house. But it was smart around smart enough to go around that SUV. Now it's gonna make a left turn. It's got cameras all around the car. You can see what's around it. And it makes a left turn. Early versions of the software in the early days were jerky, less comfortable than a human. That's all changed now. Now it feels like you're being a, driven around by a professional chauffeur. And you still need to pay attention, you need to look at the road to make sure the system doesn't make any mistakes and be ready to take over if necessary. But it's getting very rare that it makes any mistakes at all. It tends to now just often do drives better than I can. It's making another left. You can see there's kids playing here, throwing balls around. It's being careful. Waiting for other cars to pass. I didn't even see that car coming, but the car's cameras did and it waited automatically. We're in some neighborhood here. There's no lane lines. Most other cars, their systems would not be able to even turn on if there were no lane lines on the street. But for a Tesla, it doesn't matter. City streets, highways, lane lines, no lane lines. Any road that you can drive on, even a dirt road, it can drive on. Now here we've got a left turn with no traffic light. We've got fast moving traffic coming from both directions. You can see it here on the screen. And the car and its AI need to figure out a good time to go across the street safely without getting hit. I mean, this is something that's stressful for even human drivers. So it's so nice to just be able to push one button and let the car just figure it out for you. Some people say, I like driving. That's not what they're talking about when they say they like driving, trying to find a spot to turn left in the middle of all that traffic. They're talking about the open road. So if you love to drive, it's actually the best thing you can have because you're probably in your car a lot driving and when you get annoyed by traffic or some of these challenging scenarios, you can just push the button and turn it on. And the other crazy thing that people don't realize is you can lease this car, the Model 3, which is what I'm in, for $250 a month until March 3rd. You can use my referral link below and get up to $2,500 off a Model 3 if you order with that link. And uh, it'll come with a one month trial of the self-driving. After that, it's $99 a month or uh, if you refer someone else to get a Tesla, then you'll get some free Tesla credits that you can use for self-driving or anything else. So it's a super popular car here and you can see why. Everyone in Southern California is just always stuck sitting in traffic like this. Every other person in this line, except maybe that Tesla up there, is pulling their hair out. They're frustrated. But if you have a car with FSD, you just turn it on. Even if you were driving yourself, you could turn it on for a second. Enjoy the sound system. Enjoy the music. Talk to your passengers. Talk to people on YouTube, in my case. And um, you don't have to worry about it. 
So it really is one of those things where it might feel unusual first. You get this strange feeling in your stomach, like your brain kind of saying, hmm, something's not quite right here. But once you get used to it, you can't really ever go back. It just changes the way you see your city. You want to go drive places more, go see friends, and it's just all effortless. You don't realize how much of a strain it is on you to be forced to drive all the time until driving becomes optional. So you can go lease a new one for 250 a month and you can also get a used one. If you do get a used one, try and get one with the AI4 chip. That'll be able to run the latest self-driving. But even if you get one of the older cars with the AI3 chip, it's got a softer update now that is driving pretty well itself. So even, even the older cars, sometimes you can find the used cars, like uh, one of those older Model 3s over there with FSD pre-installed. That's the best thing if you're shopping used. You buy a car where the FSD package has already been paid for in full. Then you can just use the self-driving on the car all day and you don't have to pay anything at all. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. The sun is shining. And instead of just having to stare at the lane lines and center my car on the road, I can look around. I can see what other people are doing. I can look at the pedestrians on the corner and say, are they gonna cross the street? Do I need to be aware of what they're doing? And instead of just staring straight ahead of me at what the car in front of me is doing, where the lane lines are, I can actually use my human intelligence to look at the scene at a higher level and to be more aware of what's going on around me. And that's why the safety stats show that people crash about 10 times less when they've got this self-driving mode on and they're supervising it compared to when they're driving themselves. So we're moving along here. We've got a speed bump in the road. And the car's smart enough to recognize this, to slow down and make sure we're comfortable even going over speed bumps or any other obstacles. So you can see there's a Model 3, one of the new ones. There's another Model 3 over there, uh, one of the older ones. There's a Model Y over there. There's a reason these cars are so popular here. They're fast, they're fun, they're affordable. You don't have any fuel and maintenance cost. And you've got what I think is the most comfortable self-driving system in the world. I was impressed with Waymo when it first came out. Honestly, now riding in Waymo, which I still love to do sometimes, it feels jerky, there's hard braking. It doesn't compare to the smoothness of the AI you see in this car, having learned from millions and millions of miles of Teslas driving around Los Angeles. And it's only going to continue to get better. They'll send you softer updates, and you get a notification on your phone, you click install, and then the car just gets smarter. It starts driving better. Just in the time I've got this car in the last six months, it's gotten dramatically better at driving. You can also tell the car to come to you in a parking lot without a driver. So let's say it's raining or something and you're in front of the store, you don't wanna be running through the rain to get to your car but well, you can just open the app and push a button and the car will come to you. Slowing down for the speed bumps there, nice. We're getting close to the destination. We're about a mile away. It may seem like a small thing, noticing all these speed bumps, but they're not always easy to see for a computer and its cameras.
Now we're making a right turn. It's gentle, it's smooth. It's honestly more comfortable for the passengers than if I was driving the car. But at the same time, it's not wasting any time, it's quick. It's getting us to the destination as fast as possible. And you notice driving directly into the sunlight there, it didn't phase the system. It has enough cameras all around the car that it can continue to see and keep us safe. Here we got a car pulling out. It's another Tesla, a Model Y. And even on a tight street like this, no problem. I don't have to lift a finger. It's a nice one. Yeah, beautiful. And now we're gonna make a left turn. There's another Model Y. So, you know, I just see all these Teslas around and think soon they're going to have a software update that makes them driverless. And that's going to be a crazy moment in Southern California when all the Teslas start waking up. Notice how it was a really tight road there and it stopped, it gave them space to pass, and it did it all smoothly without creating any harsh uh, braking for the passengers. We're about half a mile away from our destination now. So, you can go to tesla.com, sign up for a test drive, and go see how FSD works in your neighborhood. They have them on all the demo cars, so you can just go arrange a demo drive, hit this button on the steering wheel or hit the button on the screen, and you can experience exactly what I'm showing you here in this video in real life. And a video is one thing, but really experiencing it for yourself is completely different. So I definitely recommend doing that. And um, then you can order one. It'll change your life and it may even save your life. Especially if you're somebody who likes to have fun driving, who maybe speeds a little too much. Having a safe driver like this in your car all the time could save your life. And it's just a second set of eyes. Even when you're driving manually in the car, it'll beep at you if it thinks you're about to hit something. It'll be able to brake automatically if necessary. All that intelligence about how to drive carries over into the safety features when you're driving manually. And that comes free built into every car. Uh, everyone in the state road has a Tesla. Yeah, seems like it. So we're waiting for pedestrians to cross here on the right. Now that they've crossed, the car is making a right turn. And our destination should be right up ahead. So it's going to find a spot to pull over and put the car in park. So it's pulling over here. It's being careful about those trash cans. And there you go. It's at the destination. It's parked. And it did the entire drive for us. So, you know, you can really go entire days without driving with this thing. And then when it's time to go, you just give it another destination. Take me to father's office in Culver City. You push the blue button again. And then you're off to your next destination. No need to ever touch the steering wheel. So that's Tesla FSC. If you're still driving yourself, do yourself a favor, go try it. Book a Tesla test drive. 
and then order one with my link, you can get $2,500 off a of Model 3, $250 a month lease until March 3rd. Just the best car in general. So much fun to drive, so high tech, so safe. But the FSD feature will really change your life. So, thanks for watching. Go check it out yourself. And uh, hopefully it works just as well for you as it's working for me. Let me know in the comments how it does in your area.